So, hello and welcome to this episode of WTF, which you all know is what the, which I'm not allowed to say because I go kill me. So, um, recently we had, well it's been over a week now, we had an episode of Planet B.O.B. that we actually had to pull because people are little princess bitches and couldn't handle apparently what was on it. Uh, a lot of people had downloaded it, so so they know what it is. It was basically just like, <laughs> we were doing an episode of, like, the big one. You know, like some kind of earth-busting disaster that was going to send us into the Dark Ages. And we tried to make it as fake as possible. I mean, it was just insanely fake. We had these things that we had downloaded from YouTube that were, uh, like warning signals and stuff like that and stuff saying that you know there were nukes coming our way and all this stuff and Denise and I had done this acting job that was just insane oh my god it was so fake it wasn't even funny Uh, well actually it was funny because you could actually hear us laughing at some points because it was just so ridiculous but people actually took this seriously I mean, I could not believe that anybody would even take this seriously, but apparently we did, and we offended some people, and our podcast was banned, and wasn't allowed to go to YouTube, and all these things were wrong with it, and they basically um, had emailed Ike, our station manager, and said, you know, either fix this or take it off the air, and we had so much time to do it, so we just, like, bombed everybody, like, hey, you know, download this, download this down, because it's going to be gone, And, and we did, we had to pull it. So, it was just insanity, and I cannot even believe the censorship that was involved in something like this. It's, I mean, it was just insane. So, I guess from now on, we have to have, like, some kind of preemptive thing, you know, that says, you know, hey, our skits aren't real, so don't get all offended, princess, and we freaking hate your guts for having to do this, (laughs) you know? It's just ridiculous. I could not believe it. I was just... (laughs) I was in such shock, and it wasn't just like, you know, some little snowflake in a corner crying. I mean, this was like, this was all over the world. People really thought this was real because of the thing that, you know, it basically said that nukes were coming from a country that wasn't Russia, but east of Europe, you know. Um, I can't even say the country. (laughs) It was just basically saying that we had these things coming towards Los Angeles, and and there was like, oh, and then Denise and I were like overacting. I mean, we were just like, like, oh my God, oh my God, what do we do? What do we do? What do we? And I had to keep like repeating myself because I was trying so hard not to laugh. And in this skit, we had like people getting beat up for their stuff being taken and, you know, stuff like that. And then in the end, you know, like I went outside and got, you know, we got cut off. And Denise was like, oh my God, I lost her. I mean, and she literally said it just like that. Oh no, I lost her. Yeah. So it would, I mean, the acting of it, we were overacting for the whole purpose of people not believing this, you know? And we, we had actually discussed before if we should have something in the beginning that says, hey, this is not real. But, but we thought, eh, nobody could ever be that stupid. Well, yeah, of course they are. So, yeah, that was insane. But there's. <laughs> been over a week I was gonna do a WTF the next day then I thought I better not because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to contain myself and like I was gonna go off but now I'm I'm better I'm settled and we actually believe it or not got more publicity and attention from these jerks doing this than we ever would have done doing the show so hey thanks thanks censorship people dicks so anyways (laughs) um I guess I should put something at the beginning of this show. Hey, there's going to be cursing. You might want to plug your ears. Little virgin ears. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I decided that I was going to rewrite that little beginning there. And I'm going to do like a little skit for you. But just so all the little princesses of the world can, uh, I guess, accept it. So, so. Here it is. It's going to be quick. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, my 
my God, there's like this great thing, unicorn horn coming from this great country that's east of Europe. Oh, my God, it's going to rain down glitter. What should we do in the process of glitter? Oh, no, let's cover ourselves in glue and go outside. Yay! Yay for glitter. That's how we're going to be prepared because nothing goes wrong in the world. Nothing ever goes wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong. Well, hey, guy, what are you doing? No, you can't have my glue. No, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I think some people are sniffing glue. Jesus. <laughs> I know, that was a little over the top. But I'm just, I, I just could not believe that it, that we had to pull it. I was... I was really pissed. I mean, I was trying to—I was trying to talk Ike down. Ike was like, Ike actually lost sleep over this, which is ridiculous. But he did. He lost sleep over this, and I—and that pissed me off because, you know, everybody who knows Ike knows that you know, health-wise, he needs to sleep. So, yeah, <laughs> and that—that that even pissed me off even more. It's like, okay, so here my friend is freaking losing sleep over this, and <laughs> you pulled my episode or made us pull it. So, anyways, well, we'll still do more skits in the future, but I'm guessing we're going to have to have some kind of warning label, because I guess our Oscar-winning performance just knocked everybody out and made them believe that we were really in distress, and which is crazy, so, yeah. So, that's, I just had to bring it up and talk about it a little bit, because I know people have been waiting, and I know that they've been going, oh my god, when is she going on? She's got to be on, she's got to be on. But yeah, so that was it. We pissed off a lot of countries, a lot of people, and I would like to say that I'm sorry. But I'm not going to say I'm sorry. You should be sorry. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourself for being so stupid. So, there. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you for being dumb. Anyways. So... That's about all on that. Um, I've been watching the news lately, and I've been seeing, like, a lot of protesters and things like that. You're either anti-Trump, for Trump, whatever. There's just these people in the streets, and they got masks on, uh, you know, the Antifa or some shit. I don't know. Anyways, they... (laughs) I was dying because this girl got on the screen, and she's like, we are anti-establishment. Okay, but you're using the establishment to go out and talk about your anti-establishment, which makes, which makes you part of the establishment. I don't understand what people don't get about that, because if you were in any other country, sweetheart, you would have already been gunned down or thrown in some kind of prison for like 40 years, you know, getting beat every day and, you know, breaking up rocks. So, yeah, so I hate to tell you this, princesses and little princes, you're part of the establishment. Being able to go out in the street and using our establishment to protest the establishment makes you part of the establishment there's a shocker for you so yeah but what but what i did find interesting is we we all just assume like these people are like you know 20 year olds 18 year olds well the people that were arrested were like 50 60 years old i was shocked i couldn't believe it i was like oh my god yeah so there's actual baby boomers out there that are protesting with these these Antifa people. So I just found that very interesting. I was uh I saw their mug shots the other day and then they were upset that they showed their mug shots. They're like, Oh well you shouldn't show our mug shots. Well you shouldn't be out protesting in the streets and saying things like that. So I mean it's kinda like one of those things if you don't want yourself out there, don't put yourself out there, I guess, you know. So I mean, I'm all for free speech. You want to go out in the street and, and you know, call our president names or whatever. Do what you want. I don't care. It's not my damn business. But don't cry when you get exposed, I guess. So, but then on the other side of the scale, we had, like, the, these these wackos that were, like, uh, uh, like white-only people or something out there. <laughs> Just like, how do you even exist? How do you even exist in this day and age? I just don't get it. I, I don't get how people like that can even walk the street. And like I said, I'm about free speech, but it's just, I mean, you you pretty much think like that kind of stuff went, went out in like the 60s or 70s. I mean, yeah, you, you still get your bigoted jerk here and there that says something wrong, you know. You know, even someone like me that that, that claims to be, you know, 
pretty liberal and this and that. You know, not liberal, but you know what I mean. You know, you know, we, we all say incorrect things sometimes, politically incorrect. It doesn't matter who you are, but these people are having this dream. White is right and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And you can't help but laugh at these freaking idiots. It's like, oh my God, they're just, I mean, it, it cracks me up. It just does. It's like, how, how are you even doing this in 2018? How are you even out there spouting that crap in 2018? I mean, come on, get over it already. It's ridiculous. It is just ridiculous, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I mean, and I'm not going to, you know, do the whole typical get back in your truck and go back to the gas station, because, no, that's not everybody. But, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's it's just ridiculous. I did. <laughs> I seen them out there with their stupid signs, and, all this crap, and it's like, it's, <laughs> and like I said, you can't help but laugh at them, I mean, how can you not just laugh at them, how can you not just laugh, people are like getting all pissed off, and like, eh, oh my god, I can't believe this, like, oh my god, I can't believe you're even getting upset, how can you even up get upset with these idiots, I mean, how can you get upset with these people that are out there spouting this nonsense, it's like, oh my god, just do, do like the rest of us. Just laugh at them and move on. Because they're trying to get a reaction. And that's what people don't understand. They're out on the streets. They're trying to get a reaction. They are trying to get a reaction from you. They're trying to get, get you upset. And they're trying to piss you off. And they want you to, you know, be doing it. Just laugh at them. Just laugh and move on. Pat them on the head. Give them a little lollipop. Send them on their way. You know? I mean, it's... <laughs> It's just so stupid. I can't believe people take the effort to go out and do stupid shit like that anymore. I mean, whether you're part of this Antifa group or part of these other idiots, it's like, just, <laughs> whatever, man. Whatever floats your boat. If that's what you want to do with your afternoon, put on a damn basket, and go running down the road and be like, oh, USA, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I don't care. Do what you want. But don't ever pretend that you're not part of an establishment. Because like I said, in any other country, you would have already been gunned down or put in a prison where you're just breaking up little heavy rocks all day. So by using the Constitution to go out and protest, you are actually becoming part of the establishment. So, food for thought anyways. And I know they'll all be like, no we're not, no we're not, blah, blah, blah. you're stupid, oh my god, you're dumb. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's like the answer for everything these days when when people don't agree with each other. It's like instant insults instant insults and i hate to tell you this but insults is the last resorts of a very unintelligent person so that's about it on that um i also again we said it before on hump day i wanna my heart just goes out to people in california the california wildfires i mean just uh, these are my people those are my friends you know, friends that are like family out there, just y'all be safe. Know that we are thinking about you. And I just, I, the, the pictures I've seen, the before and afters is like something out of a true apocalypse. And this is what people should be focusing on instead of, you know, no, you yeah, hey, and why it only and all the bullshit. You should all be getting together and like trying to help people, man. Between high heat and places there isn't heat and wildfires and freaking flooding you know, get off your asses, stop being stupid, go help people, try to help each other, I mean, please, just start being human again, stop being these little clones that the government has made you, and I know a lot of people, like, government hasn't made me shit, yeah, they have, government media, they, 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 they've made you clones, so, why don't you stop being clones and start being human, and start thinking about other people, Start thinking about people who have lost their homes, people that are about to lose their homes, people that have lost their lives, have lost family members, you know, firefighters that, that were out there risking their lives to help these people, you know, and believe me, they don't make that much money to be out there doing that shit, so this is a passion, it is a passion that they are doing, and this is firefighters, policemen, you know, EMTs, all over this world need to be thanked, need to be thought of. You know, stop listening to the headlines, stop 
Stop going by the bullshit. Oh, there's one bad cop that did this. Okay, yeah, there, there are. There are bad people out there in every profession of everything. But stop putting the spotlight on them and start putting the spotlight on the people who actually help. Like these firefighters that were out there on the side of a freaking mountain. Flames all around them. Torn fire tornadoes. And, and they're there to try to save people. You know? So, and, and I know I, I do this every, every WTF. I start getting this wishy-washy, you know. Let's do the human thing. But damn it, let's do the human thing. Stop doing this bullshit. Oh my God! I mean, even if you just go to the damn store and just pick up something, and, you know, just just take it to a, a homeless person or, or or buy something and take it to the fire department and say, "Hey guys, here's some, you know, here's something for you." You know, it's that easy. It's that easy. And I'm sure there's there's little places you can donate, even if it's just monetary. Two bucks. Go go give them two bucks. I'm just saying. Start being human. Stop being clones. And for God's sake, stop being so freaking sensitive. God, I can't take any more sensitive people. Oh my God, I, I deal with sensitive people all the time. I know people don't know how to take me. I get that. I don't know how to take me sometimes. But for the most part, never take me seriously. Unless I'm looking right at you and be like, I am freaking serious. You need to listen. Don't take me seriously. But you know what I mean. But I'm being serious now, so... I am being serious now and talking about the humanity and not being <laughs> not being sensitive. Oh my god. I uh <laughs> I uh walked out of a store the other day and this is so stupid. You guys gotta hear this story. I, I swear I, I am just like the most horrible person. and I would and I didn't mean anything by it. I wasn't thinking, you know what I mean? This guy <laughs> He was, he was looking at me at the store, and I noticed him looking at me, and I didn't, you know, I'm busy. I'm a busy person. I got stuff going on, you know, and he starts talking to me at the counter, and he's like, so, do you have a phone number? And dumb me not thinking that's what he meant. I was like, I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I? And I walked out. I am like the dumbest person. The look at that guy's face was just like, oh my God, I feel so horrible. I mean, but I couldn't do nothing about it, you know, because I didn't realize till after I got down the road. It's just, I am so busy. I am one of these people that I am always doing something. I'm either working or I'm with my family, watch my grandkids, doing this podcast, cleaning my house, feeding my cat, working on my car, whatever. There's always something going on. I've always got something going on. Like, I literally don't even have time to even think about stuff like dating. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I, I, like when I go out to the store, like, a lot of women, they'll fix their hair and their makeup, and they go out to the store, and they're, they're like, scanning the situation. You know, they get the radar going, and they spot a guy, and all of a sudden, they're flipping their hair, and they're looking at him, smiling, and laughing at stupid stuff he's saying <laughs> not me i'm literally going to the store it's like if i need shampoo i'm going to get the damn shampoo i might look at a couple of whatever's on sale on my way out i look down i don't look at anybody i don't notice things around me it's and it ha- i mean other than like danger like I'll, I'll scan the place for like dangerous stuff i'm like do 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 you know i will definitely scan things <laughs> for danger but I, I just don't have the time. It's it is nothing against anybody or anything. It's just I, I think that's why I get attached to Facebook people because I can literally be like like eating supper, doing dishes, doing this and it's like I could talk to my friends on Facebook and it's not because I'm becoming an invert. I'm not. I just don't have the time. You know, I just don't. Well yeah, and I generally don't like people, but <laughs> Like I don't like going out to places. I, I don't like movie theaters. I don't like malls. I don't. I've never been one of those people. A lot of women are very shopaholic types. I like to shop. Don't get me wrong, but I like to go at three o'clock in the morning, when nobody else is around. I like twenty-four hour stores where I can go in, look around. There's nobody around me except for the, the hidden shopper who's following me around to make sure I'm not stealing or whatever. <laughs> you know? But other than that, there's like nobody around, there's nobody in the parking lot, there's there's no traffic on the way there, there's no traffic on the way back. I love that. I am definitely a night person, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a big people fan. But so anyway, 
<laughs> if I ever, if, if anybody listens to this who knows me, if you ever feel like I've just blown you off or whatever, don't, please don't feel that way. If I did it, I didn't do it on purpose. I don't do it on purpose. I just, I have a million things in my mind at once, even at work. You know, I, I think about my job. I don't think about anything. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think about people around me. I don't think about coworkers. It's just how I am. You know, I mean, like if I hear something, like, oh, that's terrible. Oh my God, I hope she's okay. You know, and that's it. It's like out of my mind gone. And it's not because I can't retain the information. Other stuff pushes it out. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there know what it's like to be busy. So, but I still feel bad about that guy that I couldn't believe. I was like, well, yeah, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking he was asking for my number because he wanted to, like, call me or something. Who does that anymore anyways? But, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just odd. I've been told that before that I'm odd. So, maybe I am. Maybe it's true. Maybe I'm just too far out there, too far gone that... That there will never be a person out there in the world that is right for me. We'll see. That, you know, of course, who who wouldn't want a, a middle-aged horror freak that kind of resembles Elvira slash Joan Jett, you know, is extremely too busy, you know, sometimes forgets to eat. You know, of course, well, it's appealing, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> um trying to think here oh 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 oh! i was gonna tell everybody you know what what i am about halloween and freaky the spirit halloween stores are opening Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. and they're already putting halloween stuff out which is amazing because a lot of stores don't put it out till september but they're starting to put it out early this year i am so excited i am so excited i love halloween i love it i love it i love it you know and then like and just when you're all hollowing out, you can't take any more ghouls and vampires, which usually doesn't happen, but, you know, you kind of have to accept it. Then there's Christmas, so, you know. And I do like Christmas because even if people are fake nice, I'll take fake nice over just bitter assholes any day. So, yeah, you go to the store, they're like, oh, hi, Merry Christmas, you know. And it's like, you're like, that's awesome, Merry Christmas to you too, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's another horrifying thought is holiday shopping's coming. I just, oh my God, I get so nervous and my blood pressure rises. Does this happen to anybody else? I'm serious. Like if I go out and there's people out and they're everywhere, I just, I literally, I start getting like these hot flashes. I can't breathe. I feel like I have to leave the store or I'm going to like start screaming like just crazy, just like rocking back and forth. I don't know. But, yeah, I get to look forward to that pretty soon, which is always awesome. Um, but before that, though, comes Halloween. <laughs> I just love ho- I love fall. I love the changing of the leaves. I love the just chilly nights and the warm days and just pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and little spider webs and yards. And I just, I love it all and I just cannot wait. I am so excited, so excited. Um, I think Denise Harris and I are actually going to do a couple Halloween shows because it's just, I I love it so much. And I know she does too. We both have horror groups. So it's on Facebook, she has True Horror Junkies and I have Horror Three Ring Circus, which I haven't been there a lot lately. Our, our little Adrian Jacks there and Mark Neal have been kind of running the show over there, which they've been doing a fabulous job. So I'm so excited about that. Um but yeah, so, <laughs> anyways, I, I would love to do something like that in the future, and KBLP LLC, I pretty much kind of gives us the creative vibe to just do what we need to do, so that's always awesome, so, and he's pretty much like, as long as you're on the air and you're not saying the F word, I don't care what you do, so, <laughs> it's pretty cool, um, oh, and they just did a sports show last night, by the way, great job, guys, great job in the sports show, Thanks, by the way, for letting me know it was on Ike Diaz. So, <laughs> he forgot to post it in the groups, and so I wasn't able to listen to it until later, so I was kind of disappointed that, that I didn't get to be in the in the chat with them. But that's all right. You know, because I, I, like I like to put my input there in the little chat boxes down below. But, no, they did a good job. Everybody did great. It was a good show. Um, they're going to be doing that every Monday. So y'all look out for that on Mondays. We're going to be doing the, uh, sports. And then 
next Monday, we're going to be doing a Planet B.O.B., and I'm thinking it's going to be like a back-to-school thing. So, we're going to be talking about not just, you know, different supplies, like helping your kids, training your kids, you know, thinking about stuff like, I mean, unfortunately, the violence in school, you have to do something to get your kids prepared just in case, because you never know, it could happen. So, um, self-defense, different things like that. School supplies, whatever, you know, we're going to be talking about all kinds of different things, so, because on Planet B.O.B., we talk about survival of all kind, not just big ones, you know, that are going to take out the earth, where me and Denise, you know, overact and people get offended, but, you know, not bringing up that mess again, grr, so, anyways, (laughs) Anyways, so that's going on there, and then this Wednesday, as in, like, tomorrow, oh my god, is it really Wednesday again? Um, Janice and I should be doing hump day humor if we can get our stuff together in the morning, and then, um, Wednesday night, we'll be doing the Fear the Walking Dead episode, which I am so excited about, I cannot wait to, I'm gonna, like, bust until I get to talk about this, but... I don't want to say anything too much now because I don't want to, I don't want to like ruin the excitement. But yeah, we, we all know what happened after Fear. There was a certain talk show on and a certain talk show host that just made me cry and I love him. So anyways, we'll talk about that later. Um, that has nothing to do with any of this. So anyways, uh, Denise will also be doing Encounters. Uh, there are changes coming back, I guess, in the lounge. And don't forget Lolita's Jams and the Jam with Ike. And then, of course, okay, here we go. Getting ready for it. Here we go. The Freaks in the Basement. See, I can't do it. He he does this growl. I cannot ever get it right. <laughs> but one of these days, I'm going to do a commercial. And we're, we're going to do that. We're going to get, uh, we're going to get uh, Chris's voice on there so I can do a proper promo for him, which I think is going to be amazing, so, yeah, um, what was I going to say, yeah, there's not much else going on right now that I know of, I'm not sure if Denise is going to be doing the DWD anymore, oh, American Horror Story is coming back, so we have so much going on, then there's a couple new shows from people that are going to be on, and, uh, Gary, I believe, is going to be on, and, and Eric, and, We've got all these things going on, so. Yep, and Cecilia Flores is going to be on sports. I mean, we've got so many things. Desiree's doing chain, which I think I said. Um, so, yeah, we're we're doing awesome here. So, I just wanted to do just a quick WTF and just talk about a few things and say hi to everybody and just kind of, like I said, I really want to do address what happened with the Planet B.O.B., Um, I'm kind of over it now. I'm still not happy about it. Um, Ike's not happy about it. Denise is definitely not happy. She's, she's, she's more pissed about it than I am. But (laughs) she was like, (laughs) I think Denise is fixing to make some phone calls and going to whoop some ass or something. But anyways, yeah, it, it was just a bunch of BS and, Hopefully we've learned from that and we're not going to do that again without at least some kind of warning. And definitely don't miss and don't mention certain countries that are east of Europe because they get a little touchy about that. Um, don't talk about the the atomic weapons that could, you know, nuclear weapons that could be coming at you. Because people don't like that either. Um, definitely don't talk about cities they're about to land in because oh god people will be outside looking up don't talk about red skies nothing don't talk about anything that makes people upset just talk about you know little things that they can handle you know little tiny things you know like the the dumb straw bands you know stuff like that which i still think is stupid by the way uh let's see I can't think of much else to say right now. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I need to talk about at the moment, but I'm just not in the mood because I have to get some rest because I have to work tonight again. And then we will be back tomorrow, Denise and I, with Hump Day Humor. And and later on, The Fear of the Walking Dead. I cannot wait. It's going to be an awesome show. 
So everybody, have a good day. And like I said, treat each other well. Remember, you're human. You're not a clone. Stop being clones. Stop being clones. Just be human. Be kind to each other. Love each other. That's the way life should be. So knock it off. Anyways, y'all have a good day. And we'll talk to you later. I'm probably going to play like a neat little commercial here or something. I don't know. Let's see which one we're going to play. Do Ikey's that one? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, maybe I'll just let them play one. Because the, uh, the speaker just puts one on automatically, and it's usually for some good, fun eating place, so that's pretty cool. So, anyways, I've talked enough about nothing. Y'all have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.